Hello everyone, you know who it is, it's Aether Espida. Today I will be explaining why I choose to play Marth over Lucina most of the time. In fact, I might never play Lucina in bracket ever again. This has everything to do with the current play style that I have adopted, which is bait and punish. I'm not going to go too heavily into it in this video. If you want to know more about the play style that I have adopted, check out this video. But to give a general description of it, I like to bait people into using options and I like to punish people for throwing out said options and failing miserably. When I bait and punish options, I try to punish people to the max. I don't just mean, oh, you missed an attack? Well, I'm gonna just poke you like once and then run away again and restart neutral. No, when I land an attack, I want to get that combo. I want to get that confirmed. I want you to feel it. And I want to feel it too. Like, I want to feel the weight of my effort in advantage state. Lucina doesn't let me feel that at all. A lot of times when I land a killing blow with Lucina, it doesn't feel like it should be a killing blow. So it confuses my brain in a sense. Like, I'm so used to playing characters like Marth, Byleth, and Corrin, who visually, physically indicate when they get a strong hit and when they get a weak hit. All three of these characters have hitboxes with different hit effects and sound effects that allow me to realize, okay, I just landed a really strong attack, or I just landed a weak attack. I got very used to those effects. When I play Lucina and not have those effects, it throws me off all of the time. When I play Lucina, it constantly feels like I'm landing a sour spot, even when I'm not. You land a strong or weak hit, it feels exactly the same. And that throws me off all of the time. Going back to how I like to play this game, when I bait somebody, I want to feel good about it. In Advantage State, I want to feel the adrenaline of landing the strong attacks. I want to feel the weight of my Advantage State. And I want my opponent to feel it too. Because when I land those good attacks, I feel the motivation. I feel locked in. I know I'm playing pretty hot right now. I know my spacing is on point. I know I'm getting the good reads. And then there's my opponent who probably just died at around 75%. And now all of that overconfidence they had at the beginning of the match is gone. There are times where people will almost immediately discredit me or immediately let their guard down because I picked freaking Marth. For the longest time, people have been saying Marth is so bad and can't kill nobody that it got to a point where when I kill someone at 75%, they f literally freak out. Like they will be like, oh my gosh, why did I die there? It's even worse when I kill them at 40%, Like they get shook up. And then what happens? They get desperate. They want to answer back as quickly as I just took their stock, but they cannot because I am ready for it. I want to bait them into that. That is exactly what I want. I won mentally already. Please come at me because I want you to. I want you to get aggressive. I want you to throw out more options that I can easily bait and punish. There you go, bait and punish. Not having that fear factor in bracket is a weakness of mine. I like to make people mentally shook and Lucina just doesn't do that unless I get constant zero to death. But ultimately, let me clarify. I can only speak for myself. If you enjoy playing Lucina, play the heck out of this character. Who cares about what I say, bro? If you think Marth is boring and lame, don't play him. If you think Lucina is hype and fun, please play her. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice. I'm not trying to discourage anybody for playing Lucina. I'm not trying to say, oh, Marth is way better than Lucina. Like, you should not be playing Lucina. Like, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying for me personally, the way how I see the game, the way how I view the game, and from my personal experiences, I just enjoy playing Marth better, and I just find him a lot more effective for what I'm trying to do. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. We have freaking Toon Links making top eights at majors. I don't know why people trip whenever I play Marth. I'm not gonna lie to myself or force myself to play a character I don't wanna play. Same reason why I don't like playing Cloud despite being good with him. Game & Watch despite being good with him. Steve! Actually, I have a lot of fun playing Steve. What am I saying? I know a lot of you came into this video thinking, Oh, Spider's gonna say Marth is better than Lucina. Oh my gosh. Nah. Okay, if she is worse than Marth, she's not worse by like that much. Like only by like one or two spots. 
But I could more realistically see Marth being a little worse than Lucina. Just not by a whole freaking tier. Like, what the heck? What were y'all cooking? Whatever it is, I don't want it. I make home-cooked meals. Thank you for watching, and keep gaming.